Hi, this is Mark Hosky, Content Manager with Control Engineering Magazine. I'm here at Sensors Expo with Dave Richkus. He's Bluetooth Product Line Manager with Microchip, and he's got a new product to tell us about, the RN4020. Uh, Dave? Yeah, uh, what we're launching is our RN4020 Bluetooth LE module, or Bluetooth Smart. Uh, enables simple command and control, whereas uh, it's consuming 8x less power than typical Bluetooth Classic type connections. Good, and what market trends are being addressed by this particular product? Well, uh, all smartphones being developed today and uh, tablets, uh, many PCs, are now enabling Bluetooth low energy in their, um, de in their uh, devices. So um, this enables uh, extremely low power, um, simple commands like to thermostats and things like that uh, to just check a temperature or change a temperature. Uh, not meant for data streaming, but very simple command and control type applications. Good. And um, what would be the main market drivers behind the development of this, this product? What savings, new functions, revenue opportunities m might be made available to those using this product? Uh, industrial apps. Uh, you could um, you know, authenticate a user going up to a machine, for example, over Bluetooth LE. Uh, home applications, they could walk up to a door and it senses them and, and, and automatically opens. Um, other applications, uh, you know, healthcare applications. Uh, you go into your doctor's office and all of that data, the, the, the uh, blood pressure cuff, the scale, uh, temperature readings are all automated through Bluetooth LE. Or an industrial env environment? Uh, yeah. Or in an industrial environment, uh, you know, you could use your, your tablet or your smartphone as the user interface for a machine, for example. Good. And the, the login, you might be able to authenticate yeah. if the person has had the required training to do uh, work on a particular machine. Right. Um, it, the RN4020 follows the Bluetooth core specification um, for security, Bluetooth LE. It's 128-bit AES encryption. Good. And what would be the, the challenges or benefits associated with installing or implementing this, uh, integrating it into a product? Uh, well, you know, many people uh, try to go it alone. Uh, they try to do a chip-down solution, and they find they run into, uh, you know, many difficulties in, um, you know, determining the peripheral components, uh, designing an antenna, um, developing their, their interface um, to, the, um, to the chip and then going out and getting certifications, uh, SIG approvals, Bluetooth SIG approvals, the QDID, things like that. Uh, with this module, because it's a completely integrated module, all the software is built on board, uh, the antennas on board. Uh, it's uh, interfaced through a simple ASCII command interface. Good, and can you show us how it works? I can. So what we've got here is what's called MLDP, or Microchip Low Energy Data Profile. And what I'll show you is that we can set up the module to um, accept whatever's coming through the UART, whatever text is coming through there, shows up over Bluetooth LE on the terminal program, and uh, vice versa, from the phone to the terminal program via Bluetooth LE. So, look at my phone here. Okay, so you can see outgoing, and you can see here on the screen, whatever I type here on the phone, Hello world shows up uh, on the screen. And then vice versa, whatever I type down here, over here on the terminal program, shows up on the uh, application in the smartphone. So what this does is um, developers aren't limited to just the Bluetooth SIG profiles. They can send data over a UART like they've always sent data over a UART. Once they enter this command mode, uh, this ASCII command set is, uh, enables MLDP and uh, data just transmits seamlessly. Very good. Thanks very much. Thank you.